Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular uh, CP as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the base uh, of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 14 units and the perpendicular uh, CP is uh, 8 units. And now our task is, uh, can we calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC? And we must justify our answer. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are interested uh, in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC, and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is 14. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 8 units. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 14 uh, times height is uh, 8 and if we simplify the right hand side uh, the area turns out to be 56 uh, square uh, units however this answer is uh, wrong and now I am going to show you the justification why this answer is not correct and now let's focus on this uh, circle with the center uh, P. And moreover, the diameter of this circle is uh, AB and likewise CD is the diameter as well. And now in this given triangle, uh, this uh, AB length uh, is uh, 14 units. So therefore, uh, our this uh, diameter in this uh, circle uh, AB is uh, 14 units. So in other words, uh, this uh, radius uh, is going to be half of that one is going to be 7 and likewise this radius uh, BP is 7 units uh, as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, these two points uh, B and C. As you can see in this uh, next step and likewise we have connected uh, these points uh, A and C as well. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle uh, BPC is an isosceles uh, triangle since this is the radius and this is the radius uh, of this circle as well. So no wonder this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, and this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well. And likewise, uh, this other triangle uh, APC is an isosceles uh, triangle as well. So no wonder this angle is going to be 45 degrees and this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle uh, ACB is going to be 45 plus 45 is going to give us a uh, 90 degree angle. So we can see that this uh, angle uh, ACB is a 90 degree angle. And now let's focus on this uh, perpendicular CP. And we can see that this perpendicular CP is radius uh, as well. And we know the radius of this circle is uh, 7. So therefore uh, this CP length uh, has got to be 7 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see if this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees then this uh, CP length uh, must be 7 uh, units. And now we are going to compare uh, this uh, triangle ABC with this uh, triangle ABC as well. And moreover, we can see this is a 90 degree angle and likewise this is a 90 degree angle as well. And likewise, uh, this perpendicular is 90 degrees and likewise this one is 90 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, perpendicular uh, CP must not be 8 uh, units. It's impossible. So the CP length uh, must be 7 units only. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, AB is uh, impossible and no such uh, triangle exists. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.